Hi, I'm Michelle Fairley, and I play Catelyn Stark in Game of Thrones. That's a good question, actually. Um, I think when you know, I first met David and Dan, you're giving the bones, the skeleton of a character. And, um, and then because everybody knew they were based on novels, you go and buy the first novel and you read it. And, um, and then you, you gradually start to layer a character from there. But the scripts don't always stick to the novels. So you've got to, at some point, make the script your Bible. And the novels can move to the side. You can cross-reference every now and again, but your script is what you adhere to. You know, I absolutely was not aware of how huge George's books were, to my shame. And I think there was something within me which said, don't even go and try and find out how, how successful these novels are. Don't go on the internet and search. Just don't avoid it like the plague. And form your own mind about the character, about the series, about the books, and just keep your head down and work, actually. Well, you know, the weather doesn't curtail us from filming. Hail, snow, rain, sleet, fog. As long as they can light it and they can see us and we can say the lines, we will do it. But, um, you know, it's, um, it's, it's work is fun, you know, and when you're not working, it can also be fun as well. But the atmosphere on set is extremely happy, focused, and it's work orientated and you know when you go on to set you have to be prepared to work from the instant uh, that you set foot on it and if you have any time off and it's in Ireland usually you want something warm like a cup of tea or something and um, and if you're working with uh, if actors are around you'll stand and chat and you'll get on and you'll have a laugh but then it's back to work again and you focus I'm extremely fortunate in that all the actors that I work with or have worked with, I've loved working with every single one of them. Um, I love them as people and as, as their characters. And it would be, I think it would be unfair of me to, to specify just one in particular, but I'm possibly Richard, who plays Rob, because we have so much to do together. And I love those scenes, and David and Dan write them brilliantly. And I love the relationship of the mother and the son. But I think it's unfair to, to just select one because I, I loved working with Conleth and Aidan and all the kids and Sean and Lena and Peter. You, know, it, it's, you, it, you start snowballing when you remember all the wonderful actors you've worked with because it's unfair. But I think the one that I'm most consistent with is Richard. But it would definitely be a man, actually. And I think it would be somebody in the court, because I love the, the deception and the plotting and the scheming that goes on down in, in um, King's Landing. And the men have such a fun time on this show if they're not fighting and getting killed at war. But the guys in the court live a pretty charmed life and they're also they're politicians and they know a lot about what is going on. I think that knowledge is power. So um, I think they'll be quite fun to play some of those, like Vares or Littlefinger, something like that. This man came into my house as a guest and there conspired to murder my son, a boy of 10. 
In the name of King Robert and the good lords you serve, I call upon you to seize him and help me return him to Winterfell to await the king's justice.